Daily Gospel Reflection with uh, Father Jack. Friends, brothers and sisters, nothing can stop God's plan for your life. Reflect and be blessed. Good day, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is July 30, 2020, and today is Thursday of the 17th week in Ordinary Time. And our gospel for today is from the account of Matthew chapter 13, verses 47 to 53, and it speaks about the parable of the dragnet. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, God's kingdom is like a net. It's like a net because it will comes and gathers everybody both useful and worthless, both good and bad. It means it is open to all and it is for all. Believers or non-believers are welcome. It's like the net because the net catches both good and bad. Like the net, you know, it is our duty to gather people. Our duty is to gather people, to collect them, to bring them to God's kingdom. But remember, the separation thing is God's job, not ours. It is only God who can do the split up, not us. Friends, it is interesting to note that God is throwing, a be- throwing away rather, the bad fish in the sea so that there will be not only bad stuff in the kingdom. And you know, the throwing away is a gesture of God's mercy. God is throwing you away because God is giving us chances to better ourselves. That is to say, if we are bitter, God is giving us the chance to be better again, to make our life wonderful again, to make our life good again. Friends, I tell you, we deserve second chance, but not for the same mistakes. I say it again, we deserve second chance, but not for the same mistakes. Today, let me tell you, my dear friends, do not repeat the same mistakes again. Moreover, we are like fish in the gospel. You and myself are like fish. Why? Because some of us are good and some of us are not. The good fish are kept and the bad are thrown away. When we are good, we are preserved, we are loved. But when we are bad, we will be thrown into the fairy furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth, says the Lord in the gospel. Friends, brothers and sisters, always remember that God always gives us a second chance. But if we are not cleaning ourselves, we are not making ourselves pure, we are not following the will and the laws of God, you know, no more third chances. Therefore, if you're lucky enough to get a second chance, do not waste it. Do not waste it. When you take things for granted, the things you are granted get taken away from you. I know in my life, you know, and I think in your life too, we made a lot of mistakes in life. But be grateful because God still gives us another chance to do better. An unknown author says, God give us two gifts. One is choice and the other is chance. The choice of a good life and the chance to make it the best. The choice is yours. Amen.